there stay tuned again we're back at it again and today i'll be showing you like a detailed video of me doing my hair from start to finish and i'll be showing you what all you need for this particular hairstyle which is not a lot and also since i have lupus for you all that don't know and also i'm transitioning to natural so i just recently cut my hair really short the past six months so it's growing natural and i don't want to um blow dry it or perm it or anything like that so just keep watching this video if you're interested guys and also like comment subscribe and thank you for all the likes and comments on my last one i really appreciate it guys and i just see my subscriber count go going up and i appreciate y'all so much so keep watching my videos and just stay tuned with me because i got a lot more stuff coming soon okay so we're gonna start with first you need a large weaving needle and this is a large. The large is just easier. The large is just easier to pull through, so that's why I chose the large. Um, for a styling, I guess styling jam, I'll be using braiding shine jello, goddess lemonade cornrow box braid extra shrimp extra holes. So I'll be using this. And then also I got two packs of this here. I'll put the name of the hand in the description also. But I've never tried this hair, nor have I tried this style before. I only had crochet crochet braids one other time, so I haven't tried that. Guys, I got two packs of that, and then those two other things. I haven't ever done crochets in my hair myself, so this will be my first time. So I'm going to just show you my braids. I don't know how to braid, and also I have lupus, so you'll see a lot of um, parameter damage, I guess. Um, because I just, my hair... With my lupus, my hair, it doesn't grow good. So around my whole back and around the front of my perimeter, it's not as full. But yeah, this is my hair and these are my braids. Okay, guys. So this clip right here is the finished product. It came out so horrible. My braids were too big. They were too spacey. And even with three whole packs and three whole bundles of hair, it still wasn't enough. But hey, I know I'm determined. So I went back and I tried again. So I wanted to be very transparent with y'all and show y'all the ins and outs and also the bad and the good. I didn't just want to show you guys the good. Um, so yeah, that is the honesty of this hairstyle. You know, it's like a trial and error. You learn along the way and also you just get better each time you do it. So I had a friend braid down my hair. So now I'm just going to show you actually how to use, how to do the whole technique. So first, what you're going to see me do here is put the hook through a strand of hair. And then I'm going to hook that little circle piece of that little opening circle piece at the top of the hair. I'm going to take that and I'm going to go ahead and close my hook and pull it through. So again, I take my hook. I put my hook open with the latch open. I push it through a strand of hair. I go ahead and take a piece of that hair I'm using, hook it on to the crochet needle, and then I close the hook and pull it through. And I'm going to basically knot it. So I'm going to push the piece of hair through the hole and then pull it, and that will make a knot at the root of the braid. Hopefully I explained that well to you guys. Also, guys, when you're doing this technique, it's really important to make sure that when you pushing your hook through your strand of hair, your hook is open. Because if your hook is closed, sometimes it'll get caught up in your hair. So you don't want to make that mistake and have to unwind your hair and things like that. So make sure when you're pushing the hook through your hair that your hook is opened. When you're hooking the hair on the strand, then you close it and pull it through. So, yeah, that's just a little tip. So basically guys, you see the difference between the first video and this one. 
if your braids are two or four apart, it will not work and it will not look good. But since my friend braided it down and made it way smaller for me, it gives it that look to where it just looks full. It just looks more way natural. You can put it up in a ponytail. You can have it down, half up, half down. And it's so much better like this. And yes, I did use three large packs of hair. But that's okay because actually this hair you can take out and reuse. I've used crochets. I've reused them before. So they work well like that. 